Hello. The topic today I am going to present on is how to make post journal enhancements in LS Retail. Along with that, I am also going to show you how to address an issue with designing. Now, this would be helpful in terms of doing a quick setup of your interface profile. What's a post journal? So, as you can see here, the left side, this is a post journal. So, whatever items are scanned on the point of sale would be populated in this journal. Once you are going to post this, this journal would be cleared. LS base comes with a few set of standard columns, like you can see the description, quantity, price, discount, but there may be a need to add some additional columns, like the item number or the variant number, or maybe some uh, expiry date. These fields would be helpful for the cashier to refer to while scanning the items. So if you see over here, this, these are all the panels. So in this panel, there are different controls, like this is a, a data grid, this would be an input control, you have a menu, so there are different controls. So before I start to work on this, I need to know what uh, control is this. So basically, this is a data table. This data table is also mapped on the respective uh, interface profile, which you can identify, but the quickest way would be to right click and just navigate through the options, show you the panel properties or the late data lookup properties. But as you see, when I'm doing a right click, those options are not available to me. So this is the issue which I was referring to while designing. You, you do not see those options. So this is a problem of missing context menus. So whenever you are going to do a right click and you see some options, those are that's a context menu. Now I, the context menus are missing over here, and that's the reason you do not see those options options here how to address this issue you can use the import export worksheet to populate the context menus so what you can do is from any of the existing environments or maybe the ls base like a demo company you can just export all the context menus and import it in this environment i already have exported one copy for the demo so i'm just going to show you that importing it would populate data so now here it says okay input the data in the context menu and the context menu lines so these are the options which would appear on right clicking i'll say yes confirm and it says the import is finished so likely these would have been added now if i go back to the pause menu i am just going to reopen this because these options would reflect only if i'm going to restart my post plan wait for it to load and the context menu should be populated all right i'm just going to quickly log in and if you see here i'm going to right click there you go so i I can now see the option. So if I want to go to the design mode, panel properties, data lookup properties, I can go very quickly and do the setup of my interface profile. I don't have to worry uh, about identifying each from the, from the back office. All right, so now I'm going to the data table properties. And this takes me to this journal. Basically, this is going to be associated with a table that's going to hold the data and it's defined as temporary now if you saw that we have five columns here now and i'm going to add two more columns so i need to define like from five i'm going to add two more columns and it will be seven now there are other fields also here which control the uh, attributes like maybe if you want to insert or allow deletion and some other commands related to the Key fields which may also be used in uh, other functions like lookup i have increased the limit of the columns i would have to the columns which i want to be displayed on in the journal so if you see i have added already pre-populated six number and seven number where i'm going to specify that number field that represents the item number from the this table and i've also included 
the variant code to be included. Now, uh, having selected this, another important point is to set the preferred width. So what I'm going to do is, like it would have been zero, zero. So this all sums up to 100. So 60 plus 40, 100. So what I'm going to do is for the description, I'm going to just reduce it by 20 and going to add 10 each for the new ones I created so that it appears correctly on the journal. Now I'm just going to close this and I, you see it's not reflected here because it, we have to restart the POTS client for that. So, all right, I'm just going to log in and see that the columns item number and variant number have now been added. I'll just string in a couple of items and see that the item number is populated. Some other item likely that would have a variant code to make sure it's being populated and it is. So by this way, like you can do a lot of changes. So, and also not to forget the context menu, which appears very friendly. Now you need to be a POS uh, user, a super user to have, to actually make this change from front end, from, from the POS client. So make sure that on the retail user for your user ID, you are, uh, the POS user, super user option is enabled. That's it for this quick demo. If you have any more requirements or any issues or anything you want to uh, know about this in advanced, uh, how these menus could be designed, please feel free to reach out to us and you know where to reach out. Thank you. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.